Look, I'm not a, a Trump cheerleader. I've said on, on numerous occasions, I think that sometimes the guy's a fucking joke. Mm -hmm. But you got to give the guy credit where credit's due. He made it happen. Uh, you know, whatever push he had to make, he made it happen and, and got the deal done. Okay? Do Good think, on him. You know, you got to go, give the guy credit. Do you think he'll go for four more years? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. And he'll get it. He's going to get it. If okay? he builds a wall. I think if he doesn't build the wall, I don't think it'll happen. No, 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 no. you know, yeah, he'll do something, you know, like a gesture towards that. He's not really going to build a real wall, like, you know, 20 feet high or some shit. Ah, like uh, no, if he doesn't do that, he won't get it. I'm telling yeah. you. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. In 2020, uh, 2020, they're going to say, oh, you know, you didn't build a wall, so fuck you, Trump. Come on. Mm -hmm. They're, they're going to get behind the, the, they will. the they will. orange I'm one. You. I'm telling you, Ann Coulter, are you a MAGA, Pete, or no? Are you, are you saying that unironically when you call him the orange one? Uh, no, I sort of like because I, I'm not I'm not down with Trump. I I, I think that um, I was genuinely surprised when he beat uh, Hillary Clinton. I was like really like holy shit because I was pretty much convinced that there was no way that he could win, mm -hmm. and that he did win. I was just genuinely shocked and pleasantly surprised because I honestly thought that um, Hillary Clinton would have started a war with Russia because that's what she wants. That's what all those fucking neocons want. They want a war with Russia. You know, a lot of it has to do with the Zionist antipathy, antipathy towards Russia, historical antipathy that goes back centuries for all kinds of shit going down. Mm -hmm. um, you know, most of those uh, neocon guys, they were Trotskyites, you know, and they hate Mother Russia. And, uh, you know, from, from the point of view of the military industrial complex, you know, they want a war. You know, they want a war to justify their existence and to justify the excessive and ridiculous uh, armament buildup that serves no purpose other than to actually go to war. You know, and so I, I, I thought to myself, if Hillary wins, which I think she will, we're, we'll have a war within six months of her taking office. Yeah. And here we are pleasantly surprised, you know, that Trump won. So for that, I'm so yeah. grateful. I'm glad honestly. that she didn't win for multiple things. But one thing is... Uh... She looked mighty fucking sick. <laughs> like, oh yeah. We need we need to get no, some no. younger presidents. Stop fucking getting these old fucking. Because look, yeah. as you got to give Trump one thing, most presidents within fucking two years they start fucking drying up and and turning into fucking skeletons. Like Obama's fucking skin turned gray and hair started fucking. Same thing with Bush, but Trump's been been fucking all right. But I'm sure if, if Hillary tried to be president, she she would have uh, had something major happen with all the stress and everything. I know shit. I wasn't yeah, surprised it, at all. It, I got to be honest. When yeah, Trump won, here somebody in the chat I wasn't. Said, I won a lot of money. Me too. <laughs> See? See, God, he's fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody in the chat, Mike here on the chat says, uh, "This is retarded. Trump is a Democrat acting <laughs> like a Republican." <laughs> What a boomer take. What a fucking boomer take. Oh, come on. You know, I, I, you know, he's pro-abortion, you know. Oh, give me a break. That was the biggest lie during the election. Oh, come on. He's you a New York really? Republican. Oh, oh, look, about this Democrat and Republican stuff. I mean, he was he was only a Democrat because he was doing business in New York City where you had to be a Democrat. You, that's a reality. And you look at the way he governs. Is it a Democrat thing to say we want closed borders? Is it a Democrat thing to say we want... Tax yeah, it's cuts. a populist thing. It's a populist thing. Sure, but you could go both. You could be a right wing populist as well. And yeah, I think it's, it's the thing is the budget was incredibly irresponsible. It was an incredibly irresponsible budget. You never should have signed it. You know, well, apart from the political responsible issue. budget. What? I've I've not seen a responsible budget come out in a long yeah, fucking true. time. No, that's very true. I mean, like the, that shit went out the US, window long ago, brother. Yeah, the oh, U.S. has not had a the balanced the budget. Curve. Is what? You what? About the Laffer curve. Me yeah, and, me and James went through this because James said the same thing. Oh, you know, fiscal irresponsibility, blah, blah. But you actually bring in more tax revenue when you cut the tax rates. This is basic a priori economics. No, it, no, it, it, it goes years. in the opposite direction after a while. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, it does. This was no, no, no. Sorry, buddy. You I, 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 I like, no, no, no. You're sorry, talking to a banker's son here, okay? Uh, well, it goes in the opposite direction, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't think I, so. You know, I, think you, I think when you get 3% GDP growth as, as compared to 1% GDP growth, you grow the pie, you get more taxable income. And especially the way the tax... 
I, I'm not going to argue with you because it's it's a pointless exercise because you guys, Laffer Curve guys, you don't know what the Laffer fuck you're Curve talking guys, about. Guys, dude, it's a, it's a priori economics. I mean, a priori it's on, economics. Exactly three you know what that is? That's, everybody that's fucking agrees. Socialism. Socialism is a Wrong. priori economics. You know what a priori okay? even means, big yes. guy? Yes. What does it mean? Tell me what it means. Oh God, a statement, uh, a statement or principle made before the actual fact. Wrong. A priori okay. means that it's not it's not empirical. It's just it's just reason. Okay. And what we know okay. about the Laffer curve, I don't tell you the Laffer curve like, oh, this is like neoliberal magical stuff. It's derived from exactly three data points. If okay. you tax if you tax income at a hundred percent, you'll get no tax revenue because nobody's mm -hmm. gonna pay it. If you tax rev if you tax income at zero percent, you'll get no revenue because mm -hmm. Yeah, you're at zero percent. If you tax something in the middle, at some point there will be an optimal number mm -hmm. where you'll get the most tax revenue. That's some we don't know where it is, but at some point in the middle, and you you create that graph, you connect those three dots, and you have the Laffer curve. Tell me how that's not true. When was the Laffer curve, insofar as tax revenue, first implemented? Well, the the Laffer curve was never implemented. It's a theory oh, yes, it was. describing it was, economic it was, behavior. Okay. I know it was written on a napkin by Arthur Laffer at some point. I mm -hmm. believe. In the okay, 1970s. when was it? Yeah, and so when was the first budget? The uh, Reagan tax cuts. Uh huh. In eighty six, right? Mm -hmm. uh, name me the last time that there was a balanced budget. The land, well, it's difficult because during the 1990s, uh, uh, it's uh, difficult okay. because during okay. the, wait, 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 wait. In the 1990s, they said they had balanced the budget, but really they had just moved the money around. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah, I know. but yeah. regardless of that fact, you look at Reagan spending. Don't even get me started on Reagan spending. Non-defense discretionary spending went mm -hmm. down as a proportion of GDP throughout the 1980s. The only reason you had such an out-of-control budget was because of defense, because mm -hmm. you're implementing the Reagan doctrine, which is very costly, and it ended up, mm -hmm. to, ended up to Feeding the Soviet Union, but you can't say that the last you're, 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 you're moving the issue. The, the no, issue I'm not. Is real simple. Okay, let's talk about the issue then. Tax revenues went up after the tax cuts. That's all you need. Okay, fine. No, you know better, Nick. Okay, I do. Tell me, tell me, I'm wrong. Tax revenues went up after the tax cuts. If you're cutting I don't taxes, have the figures in front of me. Okay, I don't have the figures in front of me, so I cannot either confirm or dispute what you're saying. Can look so, up. so I'm not going to do it right now while I have this conversation. Okay. But okay, fine. Yeah. Well, uh, my 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 statement is: When was the last time there was a balanced U.S. budget? I was, I believe, it was before the turn, the half century mark, right? Before the middle of the 20th century, sometime before World War II. But uh, but anyway, if we're going to get to the fundamental point, besides the right. Laffer curve, if you think it's if you think conservatism, which is the basis of the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. It pertains more to the to the fiscal policy of a nation as opposed to its demographics. Uh, you've lost the plot, Ron, or, or rather, Donald Trump is more Republican, more conservative than Ronald Reagan will ever be, because Donald Trump understands you have to have borders, and mm -hmm. borders are more conservative than than caring about fucking taxes, right? Did that caravan from Mexico cross the border? It did. It did actually. But and and again, and, and Donald uh, Trump did exactly what to stop that. Well, but that's a little different. I think it's. Oh, a that's different. a little different. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What because, about abortion? Oh, here, here. Let me, what let me about ask you this. Let me what ask about you abortion? Donald I'm Trump. You, oh, who what put about place, abortion? Who put in place Neil Gorsuch? Tell me, is Neil, what's Neil Gorsuch's position on abortion, genius? And then tell me about the people he's putting hey, in federal hey, courts through the Senate. Hey, hey, and look, that's number you're, one. You're no but friends, you return to no friends, your, you know, your putting gish people down. Okay? You're gish galloping over the immigration issue. You're gish galloping over the immigration issue. Yes. Yes, we've botched, and I'll, I'll, it's, uh, yes, it's, we've developing right it. yeah, okay. it's developing right you, now. It's developing right now. The guy so far, is pro abortion. Me. The guy excuse doesn't me. defend any excuse border. Me. He you hasn't built to, any wall. You have so to talk over because you have to talk over. You're a guy who's a Democrat. You have to right? talk over because if we look okay. into the details, Perfect. that's when it falls apart for you. Ronald Reagan. Ronald okay. Reagan gave amnesty. Hey, we're talking about Ronald the orange Reagan. one. We're not talking about Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan gave amnesty to 3 million people in Mexico. Excuse yes or no? Me. Excuse hey, me. I asked you Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me finish. Excuse me. Pro excuse abortion, me. yes. Excuse me. What excuse kind of me. A conservative is he? Excuse me. He's one that put Neil Gorsuch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Neil Gorsuch into you're the like, Supreme Court. To me like he filled the federal judiciary like with conservative girl. justices. I mean, excuse me. And Jesus. yes, so far, so far, it appears it happened exactly this morning. So I don't think he really can say authoritatively what the development is 
on the, the caravan. The is that they you crossed the border, right? You can say that today, right? say so that today but he ran border, on building a wall. Which is what you say. You wall, say that that's all that matters, and he failed. He's pro borders. That's failed. a conservative position. Failed if he didn't enforce it, that's a failure of enforcement, but that's different oh, than the principle. Well, what's he, he's the head of law enforcement. That's different than the principle. You're trying to say that he's a Democrat because he failed in the enforcement. He didn't fail in the enforcement because he doesn't believe it. It's like Nancy Pelosi. The the enforcement. Do you know anything border? about? That, do you know anything about immigration laws? Do you know uh, about? Do you know about catch and release? Do you know anything about that? That they actually came did to the he stop the caravan? You yourself said that people? they didn't. He was legally you barred from doing so. Said that He's they legally didn't. barred from doing so. Do you know what catch and release is? Do you know what catch and release is? I, I am aware of catch and release, but you oh, yourself really? what is it? Tell me what it is. Tell me you what it is. You yourself admit it. You yourself tell me admit what is. That. Tell me what is catch and release. Tell me what it is. You yourself admitted that Tell he didn't me what do catch the and job. Release. Tell me what catch and release You're backing is. off that. Tell me, tell me what the constitutional role of the I don't have to tell you your line. The frame it to my, role get on my frame, buddy. The you constitutional role said of the that he failed to enforce the, the law. The law on the book is catch and release. Tell me the maximum number of people that the federal government can legally detain before they have to release them while awaiting a court date. Tell me what the number Did is. Did he stop? Tell them me at the what the number today is or not? It is you simply not his me. role is to enforce the law. Oh, his role is to enforce the law. The law on the books says so, that if oh you have God. detained this, a certain this, amount this of immigrants, you have to is. release up until when the court Donald date. Donald Trump Look. does something correct, you love him. And when he doesn't do it, it's not his job to do it. That's how you, you defend uh, Donald Trump? Come Wrong. on, man. Wrong. So you have to – you rely almost entirely on – this caricature mentality of Trump don't do something I like. Oh, I am against him. But you have to well, look at is, law, you yourself you said that, at that Ann Coulter, have right? Look at that if he didn't defend the borders, that nobody was going to vote for him, right? He didn't defend the borders, and now you're defending him. And make up your mind. I mean, what is it? And Tell you yourself me, admitted. The original, excuse me. Through. Excuse me. The original conversation was you said Trump is a Democrat, which is straight retarded. You said he was a Democrat because balanced budgets. Wrong. Balanced budgets have balanced nothing to budget, do. Balanced budget, abortion, nothing to borders. Do with he is not abortion. a Republican. Abortion, we've already struck that down. He's appointed no. the most conservative judiciary in American history. On borders, he's failed exactly in this. And I think that's a, I think that's a failure of law, if you want to know the truth. But if we can no, even it's, say it's that's a failure, a failure of Trump. If, if we can okay. even say that's a so failure, like look a at the amount, listen to the amount of Syrian like refugees. Some random band and can't stand to see the fact of them fucking up. Wrong, That's, you wrong, sound like a fanboy, not like somebody wrong. who's looking at the political situation with yeah, a little you, bit you of have to look, Exactly, exactly. Okay? You're right. And you have when to look somebody the like myself calls you, you out on it, you start situation. saying shit to nah, me. Nah, like, nah, uh, nah. Yeah, what you the hell is that all about? You have to resort okay? to Maybe it's, maybe it turned yeah, out that James Alsop was Trump right about Trump ditching boy. you because yeah. you're like an immature oh, little child. Go. And here we uh, go. Maybe here that that's go. the thing. Hey, the you just go on the cheap man. shot because you have no argument. You're wrong I about the no laugh argument, curve. And I made you're wrong about it. the judiciary. Did he let the them through the you're border this morning? The yes. And the budget. Yes, he did. And this situation is in development because the law. Because and you yes, don't even know the law. You're fifty some okay. years old. You're basically a boomer. Okay. You don't know the law. You say you're the son of a banker. You don't even know what the Laffer curve is. You don't know oh, what a okay. priori okay. means. Okay. Give sure. me a break. You sure. say, oh, you know everything. Yeah, I know more than you, big guy. And I got what half your age. So yeah, you're right. And you okay. look at conservatism yeah. just because Trump failed to enform. You're look, hysterical. Look, the law, the law has can't... failed. It's not hysterical. What, what did he do? You're hysterical. You. You're, you're because I'm like a little girl. You farther. can't face the fact that your little, you know, your, and your orange, than you doesn't orange haired you. little idol. Here we go. Here we let go. the border Here we go. open. Pathetic. Pathetic. Yeah. Pathetic. Because the law says you have to catch it. You're, you're basically, you're basically saying authority that is to write the law. That your, your little idol does is great. And if he doesn't do it, it's not his fault. Wrong. What Wrong. the hell is that? That's not Wrong. the attitude of an adult. Wrong. That's Wrong. the attitude Wrong. of Excuse a me. childish Excuse fanboy. Excuse me. I said the omnibus spending bill. I said the omnibus spending bill. the reality of the situation. I said the omnibus spending bill was a bad idea. I said the ban on bump stocks was a bad idea. I said if he fails on this, that'll be a bad look. But we okay, have to look failed. at the situation comprehensively. So his his responsibility. Did it? You okay. yourself said that you did it. Okay. 
God, man. I mean, grow up and admit the fact shut that up, you're the guy up. that you, you listen. worship. Listen, fails. if you listen, no, no, uh -huh. wrong. I, I, listen, if you guy, listen to what I, I'm saying, I, I said which you're not I said because that you're too old for it, it you have Korea. to look at it. It's Good entirety. on him. He made the deal you happen. I it. gave the guy credit, entirety. but when he fucks up, I got to call him too. But you can't of because course. you're just a fanboy. You're a fanboy who will say that he's wonderful under whatever set of circumstances Wrong. instead of actually Wrong. looking at the situation. Wrong. He let them through the border Wrong. this morning. He let Wrong. them through and didn't stop, and it was his responsibility. Wrong. Okay? That's I've a fact. Called him. I've called him on no, it. I don't. called him. You Excuse say me. that you do Excuse and me. act as you do, but you're I just a little fucking fangirl. That's the what deal. you are. I called okay? him. You love him. I mean, what, I are you going to break out the knee pads with the next time you see him, or what's that? That's, huh? That's really mature. Hey, I buddy, called him you, on the I'm Omnibus calling like spending bill. I called him on the Omnibus spending bill. I called him on the bump stock as I called him on this. This where is the wall? He you keeps saying look that at it in its wall. Has he Tell me it? who appropriates has he money? The wall? Who appropriates has he money? The wall? What is no. the constitutional? Has the who has the constitutional authority oh, to appropriate what's money what's for the, the federal guy? government? Is, is, is it the president know? or is it the Congress? If you read Article will do One, Section Nine of the Constitution, you will know that it's the exclusive authority of Congress to appropriate money. But you don't know that because you're an old man and all you have to sling is these silly ad hominem caricature arguments. You say I would defend Well, you're the one who started this and shit. And you're wrong. No, yeah. no, because, because uh, you're, your political you're, understanding is so The matter is that you're a fangirl. That's so what you are. Here. Okay, you think yeah, you're that right. whatever the orange guy does is uh, fine. That's charming. You know? uh, Trump. Yeah. Trump. Yeah, you sound like a left person from 2016. Orange man, give me a break. You're about as, yeah, well, I can't even say. Usually I say you're about as smart as you look, but I can't even see. You probably look like a real beauty. But no, I'm not a fan, girl. I've <laughs> called him many times. I've called him many times when I've mm -hmm. disagreed with him. Sure. But in this particular, and you're saying he's not tough on borders because of the caravan. I'll grant you it's not a good look, but you look at the law and what the constitutional role of the president is. Oh, uh, yeah, of which course. Is not. To enforce it's, the not law. It's, it's not his fault. Yeah, yeah. It's I, not I, totally I his fault. No. Yeah, I, I, you're right. You know, I you're am right. right. I am yeah, right. Tell I, me, tell I'm me. Sure you tell are. me. Excuse me. Tell me. If the law I on the told book, you, the law on the I books, told you, no, no, answer this question. Passed a budget that question. will be catastrophic for the Wait, American you budget. Uh, oh, here we go. Now we're all over the place, right? Go. If we're, you want to talk about the budget, then uh, you know something. Tell it's, me. It's tell me, Ben. You want to talk about the budget? You admitted that you, you want to talk about the budget, and then you backtracked. You want to You're talk a about fan the boy or a fan You want girl. to talk about the budget or do you want to keep going with this? Do you want to talk uh, about no, the budget? No, we can talk about uh, whatever you want, but the fact of the matter is okay. you you can see Let's talk about the budget then. Let's up, talk about the budget then. Fucked up Tell me. In Tell so me. far as the border. Has Tell he me. built the wall? No. Let's talk Did about Did he let the them through in for the what caravan is? from uh, from Mexico? Yes. Oh, you just said was we could talk about whatever I want. let's talk about the budget. You brought up the budget. Tell me which branch of government has the constitutional authority to appropriate money for the federal government? Which branch of government? Can you tell me? It doesn't think it's boring. Uh, it's there boring, Nick. There it is. It's there it is, boring. you fucking idiot. It's the legislative oh. branch. Article 1, Section 9 of the Constitution says it's the authority of the Congress, specifically the House mm -hmm. of Representatives, to appropriate money for the federal government. If mm -hmm. the president signs a bad budget, I could mm -hmm. say... Could what about veto? What's that, is that, oh, that sure. word? Veto? Oh, Doesn't that word exist? Absolutely. Oh, yes, I think and they it override does. it with I a think two-thirds majority. And then they okay. override it with a two-thirds majority. Maybe he could have vetoed mm -hmm. it, but he would be delaying the inevitable there. But you don't oh, even know really? that. And you you hold that, him responsible uh, for something Paul that's Ryan, to the government. Paul Ryan wasn't going to do a little bit of water carrying and, because he himself thought that this budget was horrifying and it was part of the reason that he quit. Wrong. You don't That's think that's simply uh, not uh, true. Trump he didn't quit because the budget was bad. He did not quit. Dude, Paul Ryan passed two omnibus. No, I'm sorry. He passed one omnibus spending bill okay. under Barack look, look. Obama in 2015, which was far worse than this. He didn't quit because he had to you pass the omnibus bill. You're, you're, yeah, you you're orange haired that, but you idol. Even, but when we get down to the facts, the you don't have it. And you're representing my critic. You yourself in a conversation and said that the most important thing was the borders. And he has failed to secure the borders. The caravan this morning proves that. Okay. You call me on this, hey, look, but you're doing look. a terrible job because break you out, break out, you're your doing a horrible, horrible job. 
because you have no idea people, what you're but, talking about. You know, about. we're not buying you the brand of bullshit that years you're selling. Or something, and you and you're son of a banker. You're the son of okay. So we know who you are. Maybe you should be in parentheses, right? You're mm -hmm. the son of a banker, and you don't even know. What oh, you're really? Talking. Now you're gonna not go like this? Just not on immigration. You simply don't. He said that the only way to disqualify, you know, the only thing that he wound up being able to do is say, "Oh, you must be a Jew." Okay. You're, That's you what you're said, saying now. You said That's it. You what said you're, you're saying the son now? of a banker. You, you're the one that pulled out. You're the son of a banker. Okay. Oi, vai, so you fine, must fine. know. So uh, you okay. must know what the last let, curve is. Let me, say, let me say this. And yet you don't. Let me say. Let me ask you this. Let's hear it. If I were Jewish, would that disqualify uh -oh. what I said? Are you? No, Tell of course me. not. Of course not. But are you? Oh, of course not. No, I'm okay, not. Okay. I'm Roman Catholic, but fine. Oh, okay, excellent. Okay. Excellent. Well, it's unfortunate we have people like yourself in the church who aren't very intelligent. But no, I mean, look, you, a lot that of people, good. I think, I like a lot one. of people, yeah, a lot of people, I think, would love somebody such as yourself to come on and be a critic. And you, it's funny because mm -hmm. you came on basically blowing me, saying, thing, saying, oh, I thing. like Nick so much. I like Nick yeah, so much. But here you had all this animosity you in the back. You had all find... this animosity for me in the back. And suddenly, I got to—I got to hand it to you. I didn't even know who you were, but if I had a problem with you, I would have said it right from the beginning. That's the real beauty about you. You come on the show saying, "Oh, I've already—I've always liked what you do." But I guess yeah, when I, I do. call you on this Democrat Republican thing, that was the trigger. And apparently, there must have been a lot of animosity in the back, huh? Mm-hmm. I guess there was. You got it all figured out. I guess you got it all was. figured I, out. Obviously, okay? I do. Obviously, yeah. I do. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that's why, that's why you I, just I, simply don't know like, what you're talking let about. Let me ask you something. You know, since you got it all figured out, how yeah. come is it that is it true that you took over the accounts of your two partners? I actually uh, can't talk about that because it's, oh, you it's can't talk about that because it's right in the in the super chats here. So just asking about that. It's in litigation uh -huh. right now, so I'm actually not. Oh, it's in litigation. Leisure. Yeah, I'm currently, I'm currently being threatened to be sued by by my former business partner. So I actually can't talk about it. But that's a nice when you can't talk about the Constitution, when you can't talk about the hey, law, you, the data, you're throwing you're at how that personal me, stuff. So you, you know, I mean, uh, tit for tat, right? Well, I, I brought up your relationship with me. You bring up my business relationship with somebody else. I think anybody could see the difference. No, you're anybody with an IQ saying, higher than yours. You know, trying to ascribe to me the fact that I may or may not belong to some other. Religion as a way to well, disqualify Oh, you said me. you're the banker's son. I don't know what no, I was supposed to I wanted to, to, to <laughs> emphasize the fact I don't that know, I actually know about the this shit since man. I was like a um, kid. Boy, okay. hey, I'm the banker's <laughs> son, and I know what I'm talking about, Guy. I mean, okay. I look, that's how it sounded nah, to me. Maybe you didn't nah, mean it like maybe, that. Maybe, hey, you know something? The thing is, see, if you're going to be like throwing shit at somebody, yeah, of yeah. course they're not going to be want to. They're going to get pissed off, and that I wasn't was throwing shit initially. Yeah, you I was didn't. throwing initially. No, no, no. Like saying, say, oh, you know, you don't know anything, genius. Yeah, because you don't. Because you don't. And I'll tell you something. Bottom line, you know, now I'm starting to get a sense of you, and that's why you just oh, burn bridges behind you. Yeah, well, you're a pussy. You're a pussy. Oh, everyone a who pussy has a problem now. with me, yeah, everyone yeah, who has a problem a with me is okay. either gay or a pussy, and you fit into the latter category. Because I start riffing a little bit, I call you genius. You take it personally, and you start. Uh -huh. It devolves into a screaming match. I mean, that's what happens. What caused you the, yourself the fucked up because you yourself all the, said that the so most all important the thing of this president was securing the borders, and I pointed out that he wasn't doing that, and you threw a little hissy fit, like a little fangirl. I didn't throw a hissy yeah. fit. I didn't throw a hissy yeah, you fit. Did. You're a little you. bitch. Wrong. You're Wrong. a little bitch. Oh yeah, okay. Who, who got oh, all yeah. flustered yeah, over the that fact now. that the you sound like you guzzle soy. Your voice. Listen, I didn't. I want to say it initially, but for, to you. for a boomer, for a yeah. boomer, your voice sounds very weak. You sound oh, like okay a now. Mm. Man, Tonka saw at least sounds like tough, and I guess he's a big guy, and failure sounds big enough. But you sound weak, and you came off oh, weak okay. when you started, and then you couldn't take okay. a little bit of van, so you turned it into this. And I think well, every, turning people into are this, asking what? in the chat, they're begging for mercy. They're saying, Nick, take it easy on him. Uh -huh. But uh, no, you look, and on immigration, you said you said Trump is not conservative. Because of the budget. I mean, that's just that's where we started. But then you you had to turn it into okay. Look, oh well, he's not. Look, concerned. you know better. You're, you're such a smart guy. Okay, I'm sure Girl. you'll do very well. Girl. You're okay. right. You're right. You're, I'm sure you'll do very well. I'm you're sure right. you won't self destruct. I'm you, sure you have to do this sarcastic. Can't you give me a direct insult, you pussy? You have to do this sarcastic, <laughs> passive aggressive thing, you bitch. Can't you give me a direct insult? Good God. What yes, I called you a cocksucker, you little oh, fucking yeah, faggot, yeah. Oh, okay? Wow, yeah. You're Bottom real, line, you're you are. Guy. That's what you are. You're, you're real a little tough. cocksucker you're real okay, tough. who loves his little orange one, okay? Uh, yeah. 
and you're going to say anything necessary to defend him, even though you pretend to be critical, but you're not. I'm okay. critical. I hey, no, you no, you're back. not. You're a little you fucking bitch, back. a little cocksucker, a little fangirl. You act like a f- fucking fourteen-year-old girl. Yeah. yeah. Who's well, in you love say with, that, but well, you have the uh, same you know, dialect. Like that. Okay. You have the same. You have the same like gait and and like dialect as a girl. Like the way that okay, your voice yeah. sounds. Like the intonation is all. It's all off. Oh, Maybe that's why I got really? to read on. So that that's how. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, look, and look, and look, classy. Look. I am a you great. You think that I'm you're ever going to have any kind of mainstream success? You're not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll no, see. You're oh, not. here we go. Here we no. go. Oh, and you're the, you're the real that's winner. What you crave. You're and the, the real winner. Talking you're to me, me right? Like shit. You're the okay. real winner. You're you 15 weren't years anything. Old. You're 15 even when years you're old, and you're on the screen with me. You're going to tell me about my success. My show has grown nine times. Nine hundred percent growth in the past year. Yeah, from tonight. Mm-hmm. From about a thousand, sure. Yeah, yeah, but we're growing, and uh, yeah, you're, you're growing. Yeah, talented. I'm sure. You know? Sure, but you want to make it about me? That's all right. You don't want to make Look, it about the issues. That, you, you start, start calling me a faggot and calling me yeah, a, you're a you fag. Know, you're, yeah. you're a fag, yeah. and you're, you're a crazy. cocksucker. You're a Wrong. cocksucking Wrong. faggot. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Break out I the knee pads for Trump, Trump the next Trump. time you see him. Okay. I called Trump on omnibus. I think he bore some responsibility. I called Trump. The night of the serious strike, he said it was a sustained strike. And I said, that's mm-hmm. no good. But then I found out all the details mm-hmm. on this. On this, like many of the black pillars, you're very quick to make a judgment when the development ha- has happened exactly this morning. And I think mm-hmm. you have to take into consideration. It's not a great place for an in-depth political conversation, but you have to take in- into consideration the laws on the books, which are catch and, re- catch and release. They can only detain mm-hmm. so many people. Trump can only enforce the laws, and people like yourself, they want to blame Trump. And sure, it's a bad look. He should have done more to prevent this, and and I'll criticize him for that. But you don't take into consideration the fact that the laws in, on the books are the real mm-hmm. problem here. It, just as with Trump and his travel ban, people are blaming mm-hmm. Trump for DACA getting tied up in the courts. As this Trump controls the courts, he doesn't. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you just have to have a more nuanced perspective. But you want to say orange I man? Do have a nuanced, or you literally nuanced have to say orange man bad? I think Trump bears some responsibility, and you can look at my time. No, you're saying that he has no responsibility. That's what you were saying it. just now. That's and not I true. was saying earlier That's today in this conversation that Trump deserved a big share, a lion's share of the credit insofar as Korea, but insofar as protecting the borders, insofar as any kind of conservative principles, no. You know, yeah, I, you want to know why that is, though? Because Trump has unilateral authority to conduct foreign affairs under Article 2 of the Constitution. Trump mm-hmm. does not have authority to to legislate new laws into being or to, to reform laws. So mm-hmm. that's why you say, like, oh, I gave Trump credit on this thing where he has 100 percent legal authority. And yet you seem to not give Trump. 100% responsibility for something that but you yourself were saying that the over. most important thing was to secure the US borders. Correct. Correct. And has Trump been doing that? No. Did he build Korea, the wall? Korea, no. Korea. Is he letting in the caravan? He's yes. So he's, he's been doing it doing to his job, extent. Right? He's been doing it his his authority the under the constitution is to enforce the law. That, he has been doing that to the fullest extent of the looking law. Looking at that and saying, "Hey, he's not doing his job on this," but instead you give up all kinds of excuses Wrong. and then throw Wrong. shit my it's way not, when I point that it's out. Hey, it's not an excuse to say he doesn't have constitutional authority to change the law, and the law is impeding his enforcement of it. Oh, you look Nick, at Nick, you look Nick, at the Nick, fullest Nick, extent Nick, of the look, law, and he's yeah, followed it. it Tell me how many it's, Syrian it's refugees? So, so sad. How many Syrian refugees have come into the country? Uh, just suck off on how many Trump. how many and, syrian and refugees have come into the country this year based up to the fact tell that me fucked it tell up. me how he many syrian refugees that you find most how many syrian why refugees do you think that ann coulter turned her back on trump 11. because she knows who he 11. is he is a democrat in republican quote. suddenly you know, suddenly right we're going to take uh, political advice from a woman <laughs> when it when it fits our worldview suddenly we're going to take that into account right no ann coulter, ann coulter is a ann smart woman him, ann coulter is a smart she's woman intelligent. i believe she's intelligent but i think she blackpilling about trump plays a much different role than a fucking loser like you president oh, trump follows okay. ann coulter you are nobody so ann okay. coulter there's a political consideration for why she might criticize the president uh-huh. 
hears it, maybe he changes course. People like myself and yourself, you're a little bit lower, but people like myself and yourself, oh, really? okay, you don't have the president's ear. So we have to tell people the truth. People can get fired up. I encourage people, call the White House, call your congressman, call your senator, tell them, mm -hmm. turn away the caravan. I was right on the front lines when we were tweeting out, hashtag stop the caravan. Oh, yeah. I was right along. Tweeting is such a, like a... Like a like a brave the move. Day of, yeah. the day of, I was, but point being, I was telling people, call the White House, tell them to stop this. I was right there. Mike Enoch sent Nick, me a DM. Nick, he said, you got to give this a signal Nick, boost. I said, okay, I'll spread your, it to everyone your, I know. Your, your fangirl behavior oh, boy. is sad. Here we go with the okay. Malign. This you, is all you have. This is that, all you have. You get, you get this is all you have. my way is saying that, oh, you're a nobody and a nothing. Yeah, what am I supposed to are. say? Just, uh, okay, fine. This is so weak. The dude, you're like, oh, I, you, here, you know this who is I am. Rich. You yeah, tell me. I, can, I, I tell I'm, you. I'm nobody. This is all you it's have is so name right. calling. And you uh -huh. go to me. Oh, but you called me a mean name. How can you? You're so weak. You can't even stand by your ad hominems. You have to say, oh, well, you call me a mean thing. So I get to go. What am I even supposed to do? you even to? listen to you yourself? Bitch. I mean, this you is bitch. the reason so that weak. you got kicked out by you're your partner. So, oh, and here we go again. Just, and here we you go. just burn you know, every bridge pathetic. and throw shit everywhere. This Okay. Pathetic. You're 50. God, you're I hope I'm smarter anywhere. when I'm 50. God, I hope I've learned more when I'm 50. Uh, I hope you're, I, you're gonna tell wish me don't go to the gym. Tell huh? me don't go to the gym. That'd be you're, a real disappointment. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna. Uh, I don't think that you're gonna last long. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll see. I, I we'll see and I, you certainly aren't gonna break yeah. through into the mainstream. Well, so I'm, okay. I'm finished. And I'm do keep in mind, time. because of the shit that you've done yeah. here in the public sphere, there's no way that you're ever gonna be able to have a straight job in like corporate consulting or anything. I'm not like trying that. to get a corporate okay. consulting job. You're gonna want banker. to. Because I'm not trying to get a corporate job, banker. Burning <laughs> everybody and throwing <laughs> shit the way you're that you're doing. You, the corporate you think, job. What do you think like is gonna happen here? Like what do you think is going to happen? Brother, you talk about knee pads and you're how telling many, me I'm never going to be able to get a corporate job. Have? How many subscribers do you have after how much, uh, since like a year and a half of uh, your channel? How many subscribers do you have? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, how many do you, you, you told see. me, you said, was it a thousand? Look. I think I've got what, 13,000 now? Let me take 13, a look. 000. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, but we'll see what happens. Okay. We'll see what happens. So like, you James want to take a bath? Alsop gave you a big signal boost, and you started, what, in February of uh, 2017? I'm not going to talk about my company with you. I'm not going to no, talk no, about just, it. No, no, I'm just curious of your channel. I'm asking about your channel. Please, it's a simple question. No, question. don't give me this business. You... And this is well, what you do. This is why I asked about the banker. This is what you do. You mm -hmm. start off. Well, first of all, if we go back, your approach from the beginning, you know, you have all these nasty things to say. And this didn't come out of nowhere. You had all this obviously locked and loaded in the chamber. But you come on, you come on no, sucking I my did. dick, licking I, my I, asshole. I came at you saying, oh, I like you. I like you. And I'm realizing that you're a fucking thing. asshole. Oh, I like and you. no I wonder I actually like you. ditched you. I actually like you. you. Actually okay? like you. Because you're like, like a fucking little bitch. And you got all this stuff And all you can do is just Fling uh, shit yeah, at okay. people, and you yeah, think that that's actually arguing uh, and advancing your cause. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Okay. You're just okay. alienating people. Yeah, I, I think alienate we're people. I think no you're, you're wasting. You're wasting my time. You're no good at this. Okay, you're not tough. Drop you're not out. smart. Drop out. I'm not dropping it, out. Look, I'm not dropping you're just out. a cocksucker who uh, just alienates everybody for yeah, no sure. fucking reason. You uh -huh. don't have any fucking reason uh -huh. to aid No, no, no. Me. It's just and why did you do it? I have a problem. Because, I have a problem because why? People. I have no, a problem with weak it, Okay, people. fine. You, you want to throw that excuse? Fine. Use that excuse. Not excuse. Just alienate Not excuse. people for no fucking reason. No. Okay? It's because people who are sympathetic to you. You're one of these passive Let me ask you something. How come you're others? fucking I'll alone? I'll hear you're that question. I'm actually not alone. I'm actually not alone. It, I'm actually James not alone. Also gave Whoa, you I'll a be, huge fucking signal boost. And how James. many people do you have? You have 13,000. Okay. Nobody helped me, and I'm beating you in sub so far as You're subscriber beating me. count. You're yes. beating me? Oh, in yes. subscriber count. Oh, okay. Well, you got well, you got 30 years on me, so I know. No, actually, uh, I you fair. have a few months on me. Uh, really? You, you uh, started like your channel before anymore. I did. I didn't get any signal boost this from James Alsop or anybody else. And Very you know, weak, man. You have to you resort to this because you have nothing else. Because you have because, nothing look, else. You, you keep saying shit about me. And, you and, have here, no we idea. and here we go you again. Here we go again. You have no with fucking the, idea. You're, throwing, okay. you're slinging shit. <laughs> I no, can't it's, take it. It's because I know who you are, but yeah. you have no fucking idea who I am. Okay? Uh, 
Oh, he's me. too mean for blood sport. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you're all you do, all you do uh, is sling shit, and you're mean, and that's why you're alone. That's how you sound right now. Do you know that's how you sound? Look, we 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 made an agreement. No no crying in blood sports. No crying. Yeah. Okay, if well, I can't punch anybody, people <laughs> sure as fuck yeah. can't cry. Well, you should have called this guy on it a long time ago. I've been hearing a lot of crying. It, it, oh, to be well, fair, okay, look. I remember it started to go down this path when Nick brings up the budget. We mm -hmm. we did begin to go down this way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just having is fun. he I'm right just... on the budget? What about the budget? is Nick Fuentes right on the budget? Is he? Or uh, who are you asking? I, I'll ask you. Do you think is Nick right on the budget? And, and the that's why you have to point budget? out that he's wrong about the wall. No, he's absolutely wrong about the budget. But hey, you know. Uh, the fact of the matter is, at the time I read it, I thought it was a disaster. It's projected to be a disaster. You the but budget? you know something else? No, of course I didn't read the budget. <laughs> Why did you just say you read the <laughs> No, I read the accounts about the budget. You oh, fucking okay. Okay. okay, hey, I'm just asking for a clarification, all right? You said you read the budget. That's a lot of reading. That's 2,400 pages, so I just want to make sure. I, I doubt if any lawmaker actually read the whole goddamn thing. Okay, well, but they didn't say they read it. Did you? you did, so just making no, clear. No, 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 but I never said budget. I did. Hey, I never said I did, but yeah, I was just asking. I was just asking. Line. Bottom line, okay. I think that the way that you alienate people is, oh boy, you're, you're, you're not going to get far. You know, okay. I heard yeah, this about you, and I wasn't really that. sure about it. But now, having experienced it, I'm pretty sure you're All not right. going to get far. All right. And if hey, you think that you're going to get far in politics, you're out of your fucking mind. Hey, well, yeah? you're you're the expert, because, right? From an outsider's perspective, you know, anybody can tell you, you know, you don't make friends and advance your political career by throwing shit at a moment's notice. Oh, stop being you such a know. baby. Will you fucking oh, stop listen, being such a baby? Listen, you listen. fucking, you're wearing a diaper, basically. Oh, oh, oh man. I, I mean, I, this is really extraordinary. Uh, oh, wow. Just wow. Wow. Just wow. Just shut the fuck up and get off. You suck. I thought this was blood sports and you can't even take a little bit of bans. I called you. I said, oh, yeah, genius. And you got all autistic and threw a big fit. Just shut the fuck up. You're weak. That's what I have a problem with. I don't have oh, a really? problem with people who are strong. I have a problem oh, with weak really? people like uh, you. Weak people, and who would be? A, explain to me what would make me a strong person, because you're such an expert. Oh, I do, dude. It's just you either got it or you don't. Please tell me. Tell me. You don't got it. You don't. You. Look, you're, you're so you. more experienced. Such a, you've got such great Correct. experience on this issue. Please Correct. tell me. I've got good instincts. Got it. Good instincts. Got good I'll instincts. Tell I'll tell you. I'll mm -hmm. tell you what. You what? come on the stream. Mm -hmm. Okay, with me, and you're telling me, oh, I'm a big fan of your stuff. I like you. Ba ba ba. And you come at it with like this. Oh, maybe it's because of your age. Maybe it's because of your age, blah, blah, blah. But I like you. I'm a big fan of your stuff. And I'm just giving you a little friendly advice. And it's like, okay, all right, yeah. whatever. And then and then Don't we get into this. Bridges then we get no into reason. this debate about, is, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you be a better man. I'm realizing that this is the way you are. Hey, and that's I'm why trying you're not going to get anywhere. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. And so then we are debating about. You're not going to get anywhere. Here we See, go. the next partners you have, you're also going to piss them off and they're going to dump you. Okay? You can't even listen Probably to a little bit of advice. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. For how you can yeah. be okay, tough. Right. For uh, how you can be tough. Hold on. Let, let Nick throw this out there. Let Nick throw this out here. So you see, oh, you're very nice. You present, you present as you're very nice and, oh, I'm your friend. And then we get into this debate about the budget. Which I thought it was a pretty innocuous thing. I get into heated debates all the time. Mike Tokes, other people, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and we get into this debate about the budget. And, oh, is that, you know, is Trump a conservative? Is he not? And I, I guess the offhand comment, the, the shit slinging was I said, oh, oh, yeah, genius or something. Or I questioned your expertise on the Laffer curve. And this is all substance. This is all about the issues. And then you start with this, oh, you have to defend the orange one. You have to defend. And then you start with all this crazy stuff. And then I go, okay, well, now we, I guess now we're doing this. But if it starts off, look, I have no problem if you come on the stream and you say, you know what, Nick? I got a problem with you. I think you're a bridge burner. I think you attack people. A lot of people say you're full of shit and you do this and that. I would respect you to hell of a lot more if you come at me like that. That I can respect because then I can engage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's confrontation. and I'll enjoy that. But when you mm -hmm. pretend to be my friend and you come at me with this, oh, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to be your friend. And then and then okay. we're doing this debate. Okay. And it's you prefer as... confrontational. OK, so let me let me tell uh, you confrontationally. Why you're, why you're, the... This will be the last. I swear I'll let you two uh, keep going in this. But just point <laughs> out what is the bad bit about burning the bridges? Go ahead. Who, me or? 
No, 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 not not Nick. Uh, just okay. CRP. That's part of his argument is that yeah, the burning it. bridges. That's a huge negative. Just throw that in there too. But that'll be you know. Go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I'm a, a little unclear. You want me to explain why I think burning bridges is a horrible idea? It's a why it's a negative for Nick. Yeah. For Nick? Oh yeah. Well, Nick, let me ask you. Yeah. Uh, you want to have a, a future in politics, right? Uh huh. Well, I don't know. I don't. I'm, I would never rule it out, but I don't aim there. I mean, no, not not specifically in in like running for political office, but you you want to be involved in political movements and you want to advance your political ideas. Is that Naturally. accurate? Naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Okay. So, do you think that alienating people who are potentially your allies is a smart way to advance your cause? Yeah, one hundred percent. And I would, I'll, I'll cite you a little evidence here. Uh, a little, little. I, I, I just want to get this clear. I just want to get this clear. Wait, wait, yeah. please, please, yeah, yeah. please. Let me, sure. let me just go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll rephrase the question, and you know, just so that we're absolutely clear. Yeah, just sure. to understand, you, you think it is perfectly acceptable? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I love burning bridges. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? It's not everybody. Mm -hmm. I love. Let me tell you something. I love burning a good bridge, but I love burning bridges with people who I don't like. And I have great judgment. Okay. Let me tell you that much. And I don't like you. Okay. And I never liked that uh -huh. Tara McCarthy. Okay. And uh, and I'll tell you what. Some of the others, even people I'm friendly with, I've built back a lot of bridges. I got in a big fight with Red Elephants. We're best friends again. Mm -hmm. I'm going on a stream on Thursday. I built a bridge with Patrick mm -hmm. Casey. Uh, we were best friends. I was shaking his hand at American Renaissance. We were talking. Now, he did some things there, but it's okay. We're still friends. Uh, James Alsop, I was willing to let go of the fact that he embarrassed me, he stole my company, he stole my money. Well, allegedly, you know, it's it's legal, so I have to mince words a little bit because, you know, it's different. But I was willing mm -hmm. to let him get away with a lot of things for the sake of the movement, but, you know, then it changes. So I will mm -hmm. tell you, I like to burn bridges, but I am selective with it. And, you know, you you come on here telling me you can't burn bridges with this guy, blah, 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 after he's stolen money and all this and that. And then you come at me with all this nasty talk. If you think I'm not going to respond in some no, way. Listen, 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 buddy. Uh, I'm not your buddy. I, I, I'm not your buddy. Okay, pal. Not your uh, pal either. I'm your, I'm your enemy. I'm, I'm on the other side of a burnt bridge. Fella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I'm, I, I, I am going to be watching your career very carefully from now on. Yeah, okay. yeah, you will be. People like you will be watching people like me. So good luck with that. <laughs> okay. No, you're, 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 no, I think that. Uh, He's relentless as shit. Yeah, I think that. I think it's admirable. I think it's really admirable. You know, it, it's it's a, a remarkable uh, uh, thing, Nick. I, I have to give it to you. I am remarkable. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, it's it's a remarkable thing, and and. Uh, that relentlessness that you have, mm -hmm. and that uh, willingness to just one up and one up and go up and up wow, and up. That tenacity. And, this brother, yeah, he, he got cardio for days. And don't call me yeah. the knife for nothing. Yeah, you, you know that that's true. You know that that ability to just up the ante one, uh, you know, yes. time after time after time. You know that that's a remarkable thing, mm -hmm. and and that un unwillingness to. You know, to 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 say to stop. No, no, no. You just the unwillingness to give up, to just keep on going. Yeah, I th I think that it's remarkable. This is it's, embarrassing it's, for you. This is an embarrassing monologue for you. Yeah. You want to? You want to? How about? How about, I'll make you a deal. We'll we'll rebuild this bridge right now. Suck my dick, and we can rebuild this bridge. How about that, <laughs> fella? You want to be my buddy? Okay, suck pal. My dick. If you believe okay, in building pal. bridges so badly, what are you willing to do? Huh? Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, this sucks. Like, I, I'm so against internet friends, but I almost want to fucking hang out with Nick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost want to fucking hang out with him. He's fucking great. Yeah, I'm, I, just, I'm just having a good time. No, you, 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 have, you have a ridiculously fucking quick wit. Man. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I, I think that it's a remarkable. Yeah, and you know, I think I'm I'm speechless, Nick. Honestly. <laughs> oh boy. No, I, I was just throwing it out. Like when he was talking about you about having a thing in politics, you could. You could. No, you play no. your fucking cards right. You you've got this shit. This shit Look, was... you know, they, they said about i I heard this one time about the election in two thousand eight, and they said really to be president, you have to be willing to cut people. Like they were saying about the Democratic primary. They said Barack Obama won because he's the kind of guy that he has an edge, you know? And I've always I saw that with Obama, I saw it with Trump. Have to have it. I agree.
do you agree at least a little on that, CRP? I think Nick the Knife, uh, yeah, it's uh, remarkable. I think it's really remarkable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're making me cringe, man. It's hard. But, it's hard to keep. It's been. I, I feel bad now. It's almost like it's. This is where we get the expression "beating a dead horse." You mm-hmm. know, it's just. It's hard to keep going at it. The horse is dead. You, you know, and at a certain point, it's just like, geez, like, hey, you know, if you imagine, like, I'm beating up a horse, it's like, Nick, f- take it easy on that horse. This is hard to watch, and this is where we're at right now. So, mm-hmm. she'd give it up. So it's hard even for me at this point, but. Surely you at least, you at least see a little bit of the appeal of the bridge burning that Nick does. I, he said oh, it already. I, absolutely. I, I completely see the appeal of bridge burning like the way he's doing. And nobody and, hates a redemption arc when they when people get back together or reuniting of the old tag team. Oh, where I doubt if uh, you I'm know. Not, I'm not saying it'll Nick happen. And I but, are ever going to have any kind of. Uh, I mean, hold on, hold on, on, hold, on no, sure. hold on. Mm-hmm. He was talking about somebody he had a way worse problem with earlier. Mm-hmm. And he said he's not above getting back with it. That's the thing. He said that he has no problem burning down a bridge, mm-hmm. but he digs building a good bridge too. Hmm. I don't. I, he's just. This is ridiculous. I. I don't even want to use the word kid. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a smart guy over here. Oh, thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Like, he's entertaining and shit. He knows what he's talking about. Like he. He does. Oh yeah. Trip up. I, I think he's very well prepared. No question. I'm with you when you said that he could have a future in politics. I definitely this fucker could. No, no, no. He's never going to have a future in politics. That's for oh, sure. He, well, oh, you said just that he my would. Dick already, coach. You just, he no, 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 no. He's not oh, going to. You said that he wouldn't because of the way that he burns bridges. Now turn around and look at how everything played out in the last election. Right. No. That was uh, nothing but a bridge burning campaign. That's right. It's true. No. Yeah. Okay. Look, you guys know better than me. Fine. Well, it's yeah. not. I'm not necessarily saying I know better than you, but with the right climate, with the right fucking climate, I don't know. I I can see him go far. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I don't hate you either, big guy. No, failure's the big guy. Oh, I'm I'm wary as fuck. I thought you were tall. Didn't you say you were? Oh, like I'm tall. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. six two. Uh, there are people who are saying that I'm like five eight, but yeah, I'm, I'm like six two. I mean, they're the same height, but he's a fucking wall of a man. <laughs> Uh, you, you would look at me and you might try it, but you look at failure and you're never going to fucking <laughs> you're fuck that. Couple of big guys then, huh? That's good. Well. What about you, Nick? How tall are you? Don't worry about it, big guy. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Okay. I'm six foot nine, 314 pounds. What are you? He's, he's super heavyweight <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, he look, you know, look like it. it's, damn, the, it's the knife weight in his pocket. Don't worry about it's, it. It's all, it's just all fun. You know, I, I like to, I don't do the blood. I'm not a particularly vindictive person. I'm really not. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just, I like to have fun. I have a bad temper. I, I like the exchange with the wit. And, uh, you know, Fucking I think the nine. audience enjoys too. That's right. Six, yeah. six nine. Tonka, t- Tonka send me a dick pic. <laughs> we've, we've already been through this failure. <laughs> He's he's a young man. He's got his whole internet life ahead of him. The last thing he needs when he runs for everything later in life is for your fucking outlines to get out there. Tell him, tell him to put it next to a fucking uh, Red Bull can. Put it next to a Red Bull can? What? The, the big one. The big Red Bull can, yeah. You want his dick next to the big Red Bull can? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I suspect you probably drink Red Bull, no? What would do you drink? Are you a Red Bull guy, Nick. What the fuck is that question? <laughs> I don't drink Red Bull. I don't, I don't drink Red Bull. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink alcohol. Straight edge. Straight arrow. All right, well, what do you drink? Do you drink tea? What's, what's your beverage? Well, I mostly stick to water. I got to be honest. But if, I, if I'm going to indulge, I do enjoy pop. Big pop guy. But it's bad for you. So mostly water. It is bad for you. Not very good for you, Dad. At all. <laughs> all right. Well, Coach, any anything else before you head out, man? No, no. I, uh, are you finally give him the boot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the fair and square. So, Nick, I won't be talking to you again. So, if this is the ever? last time we ever is see this? Well, I don't, I'm, <laughs> ever, no, I'm, I, I, I will never say never, but it's likely not. But I'll be watching you, and and. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, it's a big loss it. for me that I'll never spell a huge law. I'm really crying over here. But, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, sure no. you are. Continue okay. watching me. Continue watching me, cuck. <laughs> I, I don't think you do. Really? Other, but this has been pretty amazing. This is an amazing. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. 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 You walk at him, coach. You just keep Come walking on. right into it. No, <laughs> no. Give him one back. No, no. I'm. I'm uh, I'm going to seed the ground. This is bad. Oh, just get the is, fuck out of here already. Okay. No, no, no. I, I'm okay. right here. It's just I, I, I'm. Look, I, I'll be honest with you, Tonka. Guys like this. I used to be a guy like this. Okay, and so I'm yeah. like really, like really stunned. Okay, and looking back in my own situation and realizing that I acted a lot like Nick at the different opportunities. And so I know what's going to happen to Nick. Okay. Uh, if I say so, he's not going to believe it. He's going to blow me off and say that I'm full of shit and all the rest of it. And he's going to keep on saying shit about me. And that's perfectly fine. Okay. But I have a really fair idea of what's going to be happening in the actually not too distant future of Nick's life. And it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Because right now, you know, you're going to be walking away like, oh, you know, I beat CRP. Oh, that's fine. Okay. But I know. Cope. Major where cope are post here. <laughs> this okay? is cope. cope posting at its finest. Well, you have never, you have never been like me. If you were ever like me for more than half a second, your fucking brain would melt out your fucking ears. Okay. You've never mm -hmm. been like me. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's just, this is just bad for you. I don't know why you're, why are you still here? People can't get in my face for being mean or overkill because you're still here. Take your lumps. It's sad. You shouldn't let a young kid like me bully you around. You're like three times my age or two and a half times mm -hmm. my age. It's mm -hmm. bad. Go now. Just get out. Huh? Jesus. Good luck, Nick. Thank you. Don't eat it, though. It, he was thank you with the – oh, my God. Okay, hold on. What? Well, I was, I was going to say, Nick, you're, Nick, Nick he's, he's savage as hell. Yeah, but, he is. He is. But do you at least do you at least got something for that? Like he's young, like you said, uh, you used to be like this, and I know that you said he he may be rocking and rolling right now. Yeah, but but things may hit a wall here soon. Yeah, do, I mean, can you at least stay? He's ballsy as fuck. Yes, he is. But it's the ballsiness of ignorance. Hmm. Okay, what? He's nineteen. He hasn't lived long enough. He hasn't gotten the shit kicked out of him. Not yet. <laughs> But he will. And the thing is, see, the, like the higher the higher he's cruising now, Icarus like, okay, what, what do you think the fall is going to be like? It's going to be fucking nasty. Uh, that's what's going to happen to the guy. Nothing I say is going to change it. And he's positive that I'm full of shit, that I'm just saying this shit. Oh, I know it. I, what? You think that this is the first time I've seen some, like, you know, little hot rod 19 year old like this kid? No. I, I know what's going to happen. And there's nothing I can say that will, uh, you know, make him think that I'm right. And, and most of the people in the audience are going to say the same thing. CRP boomer, blah, blah, blah. I've seen kids like that. I used to be a kid like that. Okay. I know how this is going to play out. Okay. And I know not because I'm smarter, but because I've been around longer. I've Certainly seen not already. smarter. You've definitely been around longer. You're not smarter. Okay. I'll tell you that much, but uh -huh. well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The guy, we'll see what happens. Right? Yeah. I, I know what's going to happen. Hey, and, 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 oh, and I'm, we'll see. the fact of the matter is a part of me is like fucking stunned because I'm realizing oh, shit. I used to be like this kid. Oh my God. Yes. Well, yeah, okay. yeah. Look, go back on Reddit. Go back on Reddit. You okay. fag. Oh, you called him Reddit too. Oh, uh, you got the Reddit. I, I don't think Coach has read it. I mean, okay. Coach. Oh, Coach fair is, enough. Fair. Maybe he's not he's, that far. He's Geo Cities. All right? he's, okay. he's, got, he's got a nice nostalgia on him. Okay. But look, bottom line, uh, nothing I say is going to change you. So I'll just seed the field to Nick. Nick the knife, good on you. Thanks. Have a good time. Take it easy. Hey, you too. Take it, take it really bad, actually. Take it bad. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs>